Okay guys, so let's address an issue that we came across today um, and this is to do with having no power coming to your boiler. So from your main cable that's feeding your boiler, uh, having no power coming to your PCB. You go back to your fuse spur, you check the supply coming to the fuse spur, you have power there. You check the load side of the fuse spur, you have power there. But then when you trace it to the boiler and you check between live and neutral at the boiler, there's no power. Uh, what that indicates straight away is that there is some kind of breakage uh, or poor termination uh, between the fuse spur and the boiler PCB itself. Various ways you can check it. So let's just firstly get to the problem. So we have our multimeter ready. Uh, you can use multimeters, uh, these type of voltage detectors depending on what you normally use. Uh, so let's just check out the boiler first of all. So everything should be turned on now, the fuse bird is on, you had a visual look, everything looks okay. So we're gonna check between live and neutral at the, at the boiler itself, and as you can see, there's no voltage there. Now we go back to the fuse spur, and let's quickly check the incoming supply at the fuse spur, live and neutral, 236 volts. Let's check the load on the fuse spur, 236 volts or 235.9 that means that the incoming supply to the fuse spur is fine same with the load the load is fine but then there is something wrong between the fuse spur load side to the boiler incoming side and obviously the only thing that's feeding this up to this point is the cable in between so now we need to double check that the cable is not damaged or the termination of that cable on this side of the board or on this side of the boiler or the fuse spur side is not poor and I'll show you why it may happen uh, sometime there is a breakage um, or disconnection in the cable itself that causes it and sometime poor termination simply causes that problem as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly isolate the boiler so I'll just pull the plug out I just want to make sure that I don't have any anything between live and neutral. I don't have between anything anything between live and earth. Nothing between neutral and earth. And that proves that we are dead. Obviously, we need to reprove our meter to make sure that the meter has not gone faulty within that period. So, once you've proved dead, what we want to determine then is let's just have a quick look at the fuse spur. So the top two cables are the feed to the fuse spur itself and then bottom two cables are the load. Now if there was something wrong with the feed side of the fuse spur then there will be nothing transferring over to the load side. I hope that makes sense. So when we checked the incoming side of the fuse spur that was good. And when we check the outgoing side of the fuse spur, that was also showing to be good, which means that at least incoming is proved and it's getting transferred to outgoing side of the fuse spur. Now we need to check whether the cable termination inside the fuse spur is done correctly. So let's just undo this cable once we have safely isolated it and double check. Let's just remove earths as well. We can eliminate fuse spur out of the way. So fuse spur is disconnected now. So let's just get rid of that. I'll move it out of the way. And let's just have a look at the cables. Okay. Obviously this is deliberate here. But on many occasions we've come across it. Where the cable itself. Instead of having the copper conductor under the screw. It was actually the sheathing. And that wasn't making a good enough contact with the actual point which was causing the problem uh, if you don't find if you don't find it that obvious or if you don't find the problem that easily what you can do then is let, let's assume that this wasn't the case and the cable was terminated correctly from this side so let's have just let's just expose this conductor what we can do now we can just carry out simple dead testing uh, by checking continuity of this cable. cable so we've removed the fuse spur and we want to check that this live 
and neutral and earth is actually continuous with line neutral and earth at the boiler which we're expecting it to be because it's one piece of cable going from fuse spur to the boiler except if, if there was any joints in between uh, so let's just check it we've got our multimeter set to continuity setting and we want to check there's no order so you can check live neutral or earth first so let's just check live to incoming live at the boiler that's continuous earth to incoming earth at the boiler that's continuous and then neutral to incoming neutral at the boiler and that's also continuous so that way we can carry out continuity check to determine that the cable between the fuse spur and the boiler isn't faulty i hope that makes sense if you have any questions feel free to ask me and i'll try to elaborate a bit more take care bye